Are you disappointed? Are you desperate for help? You hey guys, it's me, Logan, from KissCommente.com, and I want to talk to you about something very important. Do you think you're a good person? Answer honestly, if you deserve to be in heaven or in hell. You probably would say that you're a good person, and you belong, and you deserve to go in heaven. Let's see what God says about that. He wrote a rule book for us to follow called the, the, um, the Ten Commandments. Let's see how they stack up against you, or with you. Let's see. Thou shalt not lie. Have you ever lied? Even if it's like a small thing, or a white lie. If you have, you're a liar, and I'm one too sometimes. We all sit and fall short of the glory of God. Have you ever murdered anyone? It's probably an easy one for, me, for you, but Jesus said, if you look at someone, if, you, if you're angry with someone, then you've committed murder with them in your heart. That's pretty serious. So you're a lying murderer. You might also be a thief. Have you ever stolen anything, even if it was like a pen from work or a piece of paper from school? If you have, you're a lying, murderous thief. Maybe not to you, but in God's eyes. And because God is a just God, he'll send you to eternal damnation and hell. How can you stop this, you must say? Everyone sins. There is one way. 2,000 years ago, Jesus Christ was born was born and he lived a perfect life without sin and he, he took the punishment of every single person who's ever sinned even though he didn't deserve any of it because of this he died for our sins and three days later he rose from the grave just for us to prove that sin has no hold on us and that and that Jesus, and Jesus saved, saved us. But, there's something you, you, need to do, you need to do a lot of things to become saved. There isn't no special formula, but you need to do these three things and have a personal relationship with God. One, you have to, you have to believe in your heart that Jesus Christ is God and that he died for your sins. Two, you have to repent for all your sins. And three, you have to believe, and three days later, he rose from the grave, giving us eternal life in heaven. So I encourage you, 150,000 people die every day. If you die today without Jesus Christ, you'll go to hell. So please, accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, and trust in him alone. Thank you for hearing this message, and please check out kidscommente.com and Gallery Hope. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Seek Him as He is seeking you. Meditate, meditate, meditate.